I had been having some abdominal pain. I would be constipated, then have diarrhea. There was some blood in the stool. Colon cancer and hemorrhoids and the like run in our family, so I went to see my GP. And the GP referred me to the hospital. And that's how I ended up having the examination. Information film. A colonoscopy. An examination of the large intestine. There are two ways in which patients may be considered for a colon examination. The first is if they have noticed symptoms at home, for example, blood in the stool. The other possibility is that they submit a stool as part of a screening program and the test comes back positive. They will then be referred to the hospital for a colonoscopy. If they are referred for a colonoscopy, they are given an appointment at the outpatient clinic. During the appointment, the patient's symptoms are discussed with them and then a date is set for the colonoscopy. Yes, that was really great. I was kept very well informed. And then you get given a questionnaire, asking whether you take certain medications or if you're allergic to anything. And I was also given information about sedation. I got a leaflet. And prescriptions for bowel preparation that patients have to start taking just before the examination. The preparation. Bowel preparation involves adhering to an easily digestible diet for two days beforehand and taking a tablet on the day itself to loosen the stool. Patients can still eat and drink normally until lunchtime on the day of the examination. Normally, I'm not a very big eater, but that day I suddenly noticed people walking along eating chips and I thought, oh, I'd love some chips, but that wasn't allowed. And then they can only drink clear liquids and they have to use a laxative to clean out the bowels. After that, it's important that they drink a lot. They should drink a total of four litres of clear fluid, and that means any liquid that you can see through. The solution doesn't taste very nice. The drink isn't like Coke, you can taste that it's medicine. The laxatives can create a side effect of nausea, because you have to drink so much fluid. You may also experience symptoms of diarrhoea or abdominal cramps. Unfortunately, that's unavoidable, because the colon is one metre long. It needs to be really clean. This allows the doctor to see everything, because you can easily miss a polyp or something like that if the colon is not clean. I didn't think it was a horrible experience. I think that's just how it goes. Some people pay to get it done. Patty Brad goes to a clinic just to get cleaned out. So if you focus on that, and you just think it's a day unlike any other, then it's not so shocking. Once you have dissolved the laxative powder and drunk the solution, you need to rush to the toilet quite quickly. You just need to make sure that you're not on your bike somewhere in the middle of nowhere. Put on a film, some comfy pyjamas. It's not pleasant, but it's doable. The treatment. On the day of the examination, patients report to the doctor's assistant. They must bring their patient ID, the completed questionnaire and an overview of their fluid intake. The nurse collects the patient from the waiting room and gives them an opportunity to change out of their clothes. That was a little embarrassing. I thought, dearie me, here I am, stark naked, with nothing but this hospital gown on. I thought to myself, these doctors do nothing but this all day, and they see so many cases like this, so they're not going to look at me strangely or anything. Once the patient has changed, he or she is brought into the treatment room and asked to sit on the stretcher. The IV needle is inserted into the arm, and this is used to administer the sedative later on. The examination takes about 20 minutes, so the patient is first given sleep medication, the sedative, to allow them to relax. But then the lady said, you will feel a little dizzy, because the IV had been attached, and I said, OK. And then, then you're out. The endoscope is a flexible tube that is inserted through the anus. The tube contains a bright light and has a camera attached, which allows us to get a clear view of the colon. You don't really notice this thing between your legs, you're off in your own dream world. The endoscope is inserted into the anus until it reaches the end of the small intestine and then withdrawn slowly and, as it is withdrawn, each piece of the colon is examined in detail. The next thing I remember is waking up and the doctor said, look Yvonne, we've just reached the end, we'll just be withdrawing it from now on. So they had just reached the small intestine when I came to, but I couldn't feel anything. 
and then I could see the inside of my intestines on the screen. That was really great. Various treatments can be carried out during the endoscopy. For example, you can take a small piece of tissue from the colon, take pictures along the way or remove small polyps. These procedures are not painful for the patient. The post-treatment phase. After an hour or two, you wake up in the recovery room. I had a kind of muscle ache in my stomach, but that's the only thing I really felt afterwards. When I came to, I couldn't feel any pain or anything. So you can't really tell that they've been inside you, only from the flatulence afterwards. This is caused by the air that is injected in order to be able to see the intestine during the examination. And it's nothing to be ashamed of. You can't do it at home, but you can there. It is important that the patient can sleep quietly in the recovery room. The recovery period lasts one and a half to two hours, because the sedative is effective for two to three hours. So then you take about half an hour to wake up. I was given a tasty sandwich and a cup of tea. After a sedative like that, you still feel drowsy for a while, so the patient must be accompanied home by someone else. The flatulence can last a bit longer, so you still have some wind at home. But otherwise, you don't really notice anything. Afterwards, you don't feel or notice anything really. After the examination, the patient may suffer from abdominal cramps for a few days. If a polyp is removed during a colonoscopy or a biopsy is taken, then there may be some bleeding after a colonoscopy. A few drops is normal, but if it's more than a glass or a cupful, it is important that you contact the endoscopy centre to report it. The diagnosis. Two weeks later, I got the results of the endoscopy, so the results of what they found. Depending on the results of the colonoscopy, any follow-up appointments are made at the outpatient clinic. And if there have been any problems, patients can contact their gastroenterologist or hepatologist. I also got to see pictures on her computer of my intestines. Your intestines actually look quite nice from the inside. Even the hemorrhoids look quite interesting. Those are the bulges that you can see. The result was that they weren't able to find anything, that I had nothing to worry about. They had removed three harmless polyps. Unfortunately, they found other things in my case. An inflammation and a few inches away from that, the early signs of colon cancer. But because they found it early, it is treatable. So don't be put off by these kinds of examinations. You're better off knowing in time rather than waiting until it's too late. So I would go for it. Make sure you read the leaflet carefully after watching this video. If you have any questions, please contact the endoscopy department.